What's going on? Logan Manzanares here. And I had this question that I posted inside of the coaching group that I'm actually a part of. So um, some of you guys uh, probably don't realize this, but I myself actually pay for a coach as well because I need someone to hold me accountable because I'm a human being just like everybody else is. And so I posted this group, uh, excuse me, I posted a question inside that uh, inside their Facebook group, their private Facebook group, asking this question that I have, it's been on my mind for a long time. And especially because uh, I've been in the fitness industry for so long now, a gym owner, you know, as a personal trainer. And so this is obviously how I make my living. It's, uh, so I still question everything I do in a good way. I just want to make sure that, you know, the things that we're providing for people are, um, like, they actually do help, right? And so I actually posted a question inside the Facebook group, uh, that private Facebook group that I'm in, and I basically said, how important is the fitness component of uh, the whole equation when it comes to somebody making long-term, substantial, and lasting progress when it comes to changing their body, right? So basically, like, can you actually lose weight <laughs> and keep it off without exercising, right? And uh, so the response that I got back from, uh, from Dr. Kashi, who was like, one of the people who I respect most on this planet. He's literally one of the smartest people I've ever met in my entire life. And um, he basically broke it down really simply as he usually does and says that weight loss, stable weight loss is 10% fitness, 20% nutrition, and 70% just giving a shit <laughs> for, uh, to quote him right away, right? Which... I thought was really, really cool and a great way of saying that you need the fitness, you need the nutrition, but if you just don't care and you just don't actually try, then they really don't matter, right? And uh, I think that's a really important concept to understand that you might know, you might have all the answers or you might not have the answers to how to work out or what to eat, whatever it may be. But regardless, if you have the answers or do not have the answers, the only thing that really matters is that you actually care and that you just simply try. Because at the end of the day, like we all know, we all at least have a good idea of what we have to do, right? So you have to, we all know that we, we should move a little bit more than we're moving, right? We should, we should actually dedicate and prioritize some exercise. We know we should put down the chips and the cupcakes and the Oreos, the ice cream, the pizza, and we should eat a little bit more chicken and rice and lean meats and veggies. We, we all realize that, right? Uh, with that being said, you don't have to have all the answers. In fact, there's people out there who don't have all the answers and they still find ways to actually make progress. And you know how they do that? It's because they just care. They just literally try. And so if you're willing to try, that's 70% of the equation, right? So if you want the last 30%, then that's when you find a coach. That's when you find the good nutrition plan. That's when you actually have a step-by-step -step process. But the first 70% is just you caring. And you just, as like as Dr. Cash would say, just giving a shit. So if you're if you're sitting there like, man, like I don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do. I have no idea where to start. Well, start, right? Start doing something small. Like do something, change make the change, right? Whether it's reaching out for help, whether it's just doing it, like making some sort of step on your own to you get yourself in a position uh, to actually eventually receive help, just care. If you start caring, your actions start to dictate that and you start to make different decisions. And all of a sudden you start to think about it in the aspect of like, is this decision going to move me closer to my goals or move me further away from my goals? And then all of a sudden it gets really simple and you're like, wow, I actually know what to eat I know what to do and it's not really complicated anymore because I just actually care. <laughs> so hopefully that helps someone out there if you're in a position like you really, really want to make this big change, you just don't know where to start. Well, start by just caring. Start by actually just trying and actually making the decision in your head that no matter what happens, you're going to be successful, you're going to do it. Now it's just finding how you're going to do that. So hopefully that... Uh, inspire somebody and I look forward to talking to you soon. Okay. Bye.